on, hands. Gonna do something new, new B side. What should I call the track? New one. <laughs> new, new one, one two. two. <laughs> the difference between this record and the last one is that the vocal is probably more exposed. I, I did a lot of um I, I've sort of my vocals louder on the record, which is I'm always like burying my vocal and putting loads of effects on everything. So it is more exposed for me, you know, some cleaner guitars, some cleaner vocals, more exposed lyrically then. People have said, pre expose them lyrics and I kinda Oh really? I don't I don't think about that that what you're putting out there really. Because when you're writing something, I, I never ever think about what other people will think about those words. That's not the point, is it? It's like the point is to get it together and then it goes into the ether. This is a, a Roland string synth. It has a certain sound to it that you'll probably recognise. And it makes you feel all warm inside. Nice bottom end. Dirty. You know, like some people know, Oh, that's the uh, 101, which was before the 102 and all this. I'm not really a synth nerd, you see. I'm just merely a... A nerd. A, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm just merely a nerd. <laughs> Some songs essentially are like thrown into your head and then you can see it all as a big picture. You get like a big thunderbolt idea in your head and it's like a very loud sound picture where you can hear and it's like, what's that, you know? And I always think, oh, it's obviously somebody else's song because it's, it's so fully formed, um, but it's not. It's like a big map that you have to work out. It's like, you know, you have to, a puzzle, you have to work out where it's going. I saw your face, I am unrecognisable. Beating my breast to release the power from the vault. Well, that's for me personally. And then you spend your time chasing that sound, chasing that high so to speak, and sometimes you hit on it and sometimes you don't.
That amp's pretty good, actually. One of the songs I was interested in that I was trying to emulate a certain guitar part. Um, not rip off, emulate, if you notice, and a production value. And this was used. So yeah, I mean, for production purposes, I will try and investigate. It's like everybody wants to get that sort of Gansborgy bass sound, or, you know, Vanier string sound, or this, that, and the other, but it's not possible. It's like the Holy Grail. And even if you've got the information, it's pretty hard to recreate it, because it's, you know, it's a number of things happening at the same time, the room, the... But, you know, you can but try. <laughs> to use more guitars than the last record really or sort of cleaner guitars or more chorusy guitars just to challenge myself really you know you get kind of stuck in a rut of using we'll use this fuzz pedal on everything or we'll use this and and that's not when you're doing a different album it's not you know it's not very challenging to do the same as the last one expose myself in that I've let a lot of my guitar get through whereas normally I'm just like just put that down in the mix a little bit there's musicians on it who I work with in the band anyway and then also we work with um, my friend Liz who, who plays violin and then working with Malcolm as well, that was uh, Malcolm Mooney, was, was good too. We're on our way to dust. To dust. I did a song in here which was, I don't know, it's, it's, it sounded to me like some kind of thing I'd, I'd heard, some kind of soundtrack thing I'd heard. I was thinking, where, where have I heard that? And, and what am I trying to emulate? <laughs> and, and I think I was thinking of this sort of can, early can soundtrack thing. So then someone, probably my husband Andy, suggested, why don't you just ask him to do it? We're on our way to dust. Came over to the UK because he was gigging and uh, managed to get him to do some stuff. <laughs> It's important for the equipment to be very, very hygienically clean when I use it. So this is a Korg Poly Ensemble. Um, it's kind of something I've used on probably everything I've done. Because it's got this noise. Can't, hang on. Sound. I've kind of used that on everything. <laughs> I don't like it so much. So this is on the Silver Globe, the last album that I did. Um, I think it's on like Argent and Mission Desire quite a lot. Me going, Ooh. and it's also on this album as well. <laughs> <laughs> 